nation welcomes Pohla Boishak with traditional events. Mongol Shubhajatra, the symbol against odds, hell. Somali pirates release 23 sailors of MV Abdullah. Those were the headlines. This is ATN News. Good evening, viewers. I'm Nafisa Nawal with English Bulletin. Bangla New Year 1431 has been welcomed through the traditional Borsho Boron program of Taya Knot. Numan Mahmoud Rahman brings you more. <laughs> The sun was yet to come out. People of different age groups, irrespective of class, creed and society, with colourful attire, thronged to Ramna Batamul to enjoy musical swari of Chayanot. Chayanot has been organising the event for decades. None could imagine celebrating Paila Boishak without the Borshoborn event of Chayanot. The beautiful tune of flute that played Bhairobi Rag created a hypnotic atmosphere that welcomed the Dhakaitis in bottom. <laughs> After crossing the tight security cordon, the audience got totally engrossed with the beautiful tune of music played by Chanot that spoke about the very core of Bengali culture. It is difficult to separate Bengalis from Boishak as Bengalis and Boishak is integral part of each other. That is why the whole Batumul area turned into a human sea. Everyone pledges to come from inhumanity and abnormality on Bangla Navavashtu. All these events aim at creating a non-communal society. Amra chai manobotar joy ho. Bokchita diye jar na korte parin. Duto gan gaile. মনের ভেতরে সুর দিয়ে সেই জাগরণটা অনেক বেশি গ্রহণযোগ্য মানুষের কাছে ছায়ানোর ধাপে ধাপে প্রতি বছর বাঙালির সংস্কৃতি কোনটি সেটা চিনিয়ে দেবার লক্ষ্যে এই অনুষ্ঠানের আয়োজন করে থাকেন পয়লা বৈশাখ ইজ নট আ মেয়ার ডে অফ সেলিব্রেশন ইজ ডিপলি রুটেড ইন দ্য ভেরি কোর অফ বাঙালি কালচার লেট অল ইভিলস বি এলিমিনেটেড ফ্রম দ্য সোসাইটি with the very spirit of Pohila Boishak. Noman Mahmudur Rahman, English Desk, 18 News. People from all walks of life took part in the traditional Mongol Shubhajatra, one of the main attractions of Pohila Boishak. The Mongol Shubhajatra, organized by Institute of Fine Arts of Taka University, started this year at 9.15 a.m. People took part in the Shubha Jatra with colourful masks and motives that depicted the unique diversification of Bengali culture. Apart from the common people, students of Dhaka University, renowned personalities and people from different strata took part in the Mongol Shubha Jatra. The main spirit of Shubha Jatra is to take oath to wipe out all odds and discrimination from the society. Released from captivity of Somali pirates, after 31 days, 23 sailors of ship MV Abdullah will return to Dubai by April 20. They will return to their families on completion of some formalities there. 
Deputy Managing Director of KSRM Group, Shahriya Jahan Rahat, made the disclosure from a press conference at KSRM's head office in Chotogram on Sunday afternoon. He said getting for freed from Somalia's coast, the sea ship is already on its way to Dubai. The ship started its journey with 58,000 metric tons of coal from Maputo port of Mozambique on March 4. Meanwhile, at a press conference at his Minto Road residence, State Minister for Shipping Khalid Mahmoud Chaudhry claimed ransom is not the main factor for release of the sailors of MV Abdullah. Rather, the international pressure played an instrumental role in releasing them from the hands of Somali privates. Meanwhile, it is learned that Eight pirates have been arrested while returning ashore with the ransom money. Now a short break, we will be back soon with... Iran strikes Israel with drones and missiles. Barcelona get hard for win in La Liga. You're watching ATN News. This is English Bulletin. Now news around the world. Iran has carried out retaliatory drone and missile strikes in Israel. Israel said it and its allies have intercepted the vast majority of more than 300 drones and missiles launched by Iran. It said there were a small number of hits on its territory, including at an IDF base in southern Israel, while one child has been injured. Israel's Minister of Defense, Yoav Gallant, has said the confrontation with Iran is not over yet. Iran said the attack achieved all its objectives and added it would use greater force if Israel responded in kind. Iran's unprecedented retaliatory attack marks the first time it has targeted Israel directly from its own soil. Tehran's attack is retaliation for an Israel strike that killed an Iranian military commander in Damascus earlier this month. Now, sports news. Joao Felix overhead kick sealed Barcelona a 1-0 win at Ioli Cadiz and lifted his side back to within eight points of La Liga leader Real Madrid. The Portugal forward converted with a bicycle, bicycle kick after a first half corner and with the help of two crucial saves from goalkeeper Mark Andre Ter Stegen. Barca extended its winning run in all competitions to six matches. Barca, which edged the first leg of its UEFA Champions League quarter final 3 2 against Paris Saint Germain last week, is now unbeaten in 13 before next weekend's Il Clasico at the study Olympic Lewis companies. Cadiz had boosted its survival hopes by winning two of its previous three in La Liga and it had its chances, but it remains three points adrift of safety. Before ending the bulletin, the top stories once again. Nation welcomes Pohala Boisha with traditional events. Mongol Shobhajatra, the symbol against odds held. Somali pirates release 23 sailors of MB Abdullah. Iran strikes Israel with drones and missiles.
Barcelona get the hard fourth win in La Liga. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for being with us.